right? So he's got strong hips. Look at that. He can't quite get his head down. So I'm going to bump with my hips. I'm going to throw his head to the inside. And I just re-switch my hands. So I'm trying to go belly windsor. I can't get my head back. He's doing a good job. So then I'm going to bump him. I'm going to throw his head to the inside. I'm going to switch my hands. My leg goes back. I go back to my scroll. And again, I want to take my knees, right? Knees and his knees. So he can't crawl forward like we talked about earlier, right? We're trying to finish. This guy's trying to wait. So you make a mistake trying to take it forward. Here, I can't get it, I can't get it. I bump him, I go from the inside, I crawl. Now I'm back to the second side of the fish. All right, I'm just gonna go easy, I see the fish here. I go back to my face lock. I'm trying to break this up. Once I break this lock, then I go through my go behind. We talked about this morning. If I don't break this lock, and I go here, go here, I stop, and go to the corner, that's this guy's power back in the scramble position. Right, and I gotta bump his head, get back down. So, when I get here, so the guy's hands locked, I need to bump. Get my hand, get, uh, slide back to his unlocked, and I get my, my go behind. All right, so I'm just giving you another option. So, ideally, first option is to go belly wizard, get my hands rolled down here, cover his head, right, cover his head, get my go behind. If that's not working, I pull his head to his side, and I just roll and get back. Right, so everyone thinks, okay, it gets my leg, right? You see cradles, all these other fun stuff, but, you gotta be good at using your hips first. Baseline defense. Because if I don't, and I think, okay, he's in here, and I start diving to his legs, well, I'm gonna start getting taken down more than not. So I gotta get a good base in here. Then when I start making him mistakes, he makes mistakes, then I start countering. But first thing we gotta understand, belly wizard, cover this guy's head. If I'm having a hard time, then I bump his head to the inside, break his lock, get my go behind. All right, so go work on those two. So, again, bump in, replace his head, jam it down, get my leg back, cover his head. I don't want to sprawl like this, so all I gotta do is peek his head out, and I'm in trouble. So make sure I cover his head. So when I cover, my hips are straight, and I wiggle them off. Once you feel good at it, have the guy you know, kind of bump his head to the inside, sprawl, let the guy kind of build back up, whizzer, and kind of play with both of them. He builds back up. Bump his head. So we just want to constantly make this guy work. When he gets to my leg, it's really easy. He's got to work really hard to finish. So if he does take me down, he exerts a lot of energy. So if we can take it down, we pop right back up, we're right back on. Don't want to get this guy to take down. He's got to fight like heck in there. I'm going to make him fight for every second. That's where my mindset should be. All right? If I get to our leg, we're going to just get the takedown off. We're going to keep wrestling, keep wrestling, keep wrestling. I'm going to show you how we can, we can score from there. Turn that off, that defensive position to our offense. All right, so play with these two first basic ones. So, belly wizard, jam his head inside, cover his head, scroll, wiggle back to so break his lock, and then get your takedown. You got it? One, two, three.